The U.S. Women's National Team will begin its 30th year of play on Friday night, January 31st, taking on Canada here at Toyota Stadium in Frisco, Texas. The opponent will be familiar and the crowd will be large, as more than 20,000 fans are expected to watch the Americans kick off what will be a big 2014. The reality of this game is it's a local derby. Uh, there's a great deal of rivalry between the teams and it's going to be played more like a fierce cup tie than it is a friendly. So we've got to be able to cope with that, um, be able to match that, and then hopefully be able to do enough um, with our soccer skills to then you know, become the dominant team. Obviously, I think the rivalry sort of speaks for itself and it kind of um, brings a lot of intensity that maybe a normal friendly wouldn't have. So I think just um, you know, in, in terms of the, the competition, the intensity and the rivalry between the teams, I think it'll be, be uh, pretty heated in the beginning, but hopefully we can settle things down quickly and just play our game and kind of dissipate some of that emotion from it and just um, try to implement our style in the game. You know, I, I'm expecting a hard fought match, you know, Canada is a really good team and they're physical. Uh, we want to want to take the physical component out of the game as much as we can and play the soccer that we know how. And uh, hopefully we can score some goals. There's going to be a lot of people here and, you know, it's exciting. First game in 2014. I think this is now the time that we start to, you know, gel together. We mesh together. Last year was kind of a rebuilding year, seeing um, what Tom liked, what Tom didn't like, and us getting used to him and him getting used to us. So I think this year we're really going to gel and uh, start to focus on our style of play more. Now it's time. I think we can start um, in implementing, you know, more specific game plan and more specific um, strategy really and for him to kind of start nailing down the style that we want to play in the roster and I think it becomes a little bit more serious now obviously it's a qualifying year so that's the most important thing that we think about. Whenever you're talking about a new coach and having his uh, first year kind of been completed already you want to start moving into different phases. He's been assessing us for the last year and, and, and now we're kind of uh, at, the, at the point of you got to go out and do your job. You know, you got to perform, and we want to play in the way in which we know we can score as many goals as we can and let in as few goals as we possibly can. I think it's awesome to be able to come to Texas and be able to sell out a stadium or almost sell out a stadium. They come up big every time we've come here. That's amazing. Every time we come to Texas, it seems like a lot lately. Um, the crowds have really showed up for us. Um, it never gets old, so we're excited about that, and hopefully they make a lot of noise. It makes me proud to be here in Texas, here in Dallas, Frisco. Uh, you know, there are certain cities, there are certain states that really come out to support this team. And, you know, I, I like to think of Texas as a winning state. You know, the people here like winners, and I think that that's what we kind of provide for them, a team that they can back that we know that we're going to do anything in our power to make sure we win those games. And uh, I'm never, you know, I'm always surprised. I'm always surprised when I see, you know, the ticket sales and hear almost a sellout crowd. You know, I'm going to be a little excited tomorrow night, I'm sure. You can watch the U.S. women open their 2014 schedule against Canada on Friday night, January 31st at 8 p.m. Central Time, live on Fox Sports 1. You can also follow along on Twitter at U.S. Soccer underscore WNT. From Frisco, Texas, that's it for this edition of Studio 90.